lovelies and welcome back to crazy but not dangerous guess what i've got a secret shh don't tell anybody today's my birthday i will only admit to being 25 and not to what power <laughs> my little niece called me this morning happy happy birthday happy birthday i uh, thank you my love how old are you 25 and she said to what power i thought she was hysterical um i am not a complicated person and one of my absolute favorite things in the world was a seafood sensation salad or sandwich from subway and sadly in my area they have discontinued all of those um so i am going to attempt to make my own today got some crab meat here five dollars for this it is about 12 ounces I showed you the other day when I got it from Albertsons and I like this because it already includes a little bit of the cocktail sauce and that's going to help us make our special little dressing for this. So let's go ahead. Let's get down to it. Let's make some seafood sensation. Yay hooray. I've got some celery. I've got some red bell pepper and I have a little yellow onion. And I am going to go ahead and chop this celery as thinly as I can. And as you can see, I got new celery. Looks a lot better than the last ones. Hot diggity. And celery is one of those things that I buy and look at the bottom. I want to see how dark it is where they cut it off. Because if it's very dark, um, then it's probably a little bit older. You may not get as much time out of it as you would want. Okay, so I've just made some vertical slices in my celery here, and I am going to chop this up. I'm only going to make a few sandwiches. I'm not expecting any guests, so it's just going to be Andrew and I. But I do want a little bit left over for midnight snacking. Yeah, because this is going to be delicious on a cracker. Um, I might just eat it right out of the refrigerator at 3 a.m. You never know. Don't tell anybody. Don't tell anybody. Okay. So we're going to put our, our celery in here. Celery, pepper, and onion in Cajun cooking um, would be known as the Trinity. Um, green bell pepper would probably be more traditional. But you know I'm a rebel. And so I am going to go ahead and use the red. And this is the from the bunch of uh, red pepper that I got at the scratch and dead section at the 99 cents only store. Sadly, when I went to the 99 cents only store this time at that one, they did not have much in the way of produce. So I did just shoot on over walked on over to my Albertsons. It's less than a mile. Boy, it's hot here today, let me tell you, because it was 96 in my car. And I thought, well, I can just just walk on over. All I'm going to get is celery. And that way, that way I don't overspend because I still have to carry it all home. So I didn't overspend, got what I needed, got on down, got home. There you go. I guess that's one way to save money. I'm gonna go ahead and add this. I am going to put very little onion in it. I just more or less want an essence of the onion. Because the crab is going to have such a light, delicate flavor, I don't want it to be overwhelmed by anything else. I used to love to get the seafood sensation over at the subway. I didn't care it was fake crab. I didn't care. It was delicious. And I liked everything on it. And so we're just going to have a little bit of everything right in our salad here. And I am just going to make very short vertical cuts in here because I don't want any huge pieces of onion. So there's a lot of little cuts. And then very shallowly, I'm going to take it 
and slice it horizontally in a few little cuts as well. That way I'm getting the smallest dice possible. You could absolutely get your um, box grater out and grate it. Honestly, I just don't want to clean it. I'm just too, I'm just too lazy today. I'm not, I'm not going to worry about it. So that is a very fine dice. Onion back in the onion keeper there. Save the rest for tomorrow. It's a very fine dice. Let's see if I can get you up close here. There we go. Kind of like, kind of like you would maybe um, chop garlic. Yeah, that, that's it. I just want an essence of that onion, but not enough to overwhelm my delicate crab meat. Okay, got a lemon. Got to get my microplane. Oh, evidently. Washed up my lemon. Yeah, took the sticker off. I don't know why I forgot the sticker, but okay, that's all right. So yes, I have a lemon today because it's my birthday. And this is a very inexpensive celebratory dinner. So I'm going all out. I got myself a fresh lemon. Even though I consider my lemon juice to be fresh, because um, I squeezed it, I put it in bottles and it's been in the freezer. Uh, yeah, I just wanted a little bit of that zest to give this a super bright and delicious flavor. And yeah, absolutely. Give it a couple more spins around here. The seafood really calls for lemon in my opinion. You don't like it? Leave it out. It's 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 your seafood sensation. Do what you please. Okay. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just squeeze this through. And I want about a good tablespoon without the seeds. And I'm gonna say that will do it. And then I will use the rest of this lemon for something else something delicious. About a tablespoon of the lemon juice. Now let's go ahead. Now let's go ahead and make our dressing. So I have a one fourth cup measure. I have some Best Foods mayonnaise. That's my preference. You use your favorite. I am going to put One. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna shoot the moon. I'm gonna put in one half cup of mayonnaise. Absolutely. Absolutely. I think we can do it. Okay. All right. One half cup of mayonnaise. Fabulous. I've got stuff all over me. One half cup of mayonnaise. I have some relish here. Got this over at the Dollar Tree. You know I did. I am going to put two tablespoons of pickle relish in here. This is sweet with pimento, and that is my preference. If you prefer the dill, use the dill. It's delicious too. I have some Tony Cherry's Creole seasoning. And I am going to put in one teaspoon. I know, that seems like a lot. It'll be okay. I'm not worried about it at all. Because I am using this, this already has salt in it. It already has pepper. It already has everything that you would probably ever need for a Creole seafood sensation. I'm not going to add any other of those kinds of spices but what I am going to add a little bit of parsley because you know everything's good with a little bit of parsley and just a few shaky shakes absolutely and a little bit of dill because honestly I'm, I'm not sure I'm really torn dill might be my favorite spice while I was over at the Albertsons 
I did look to see if I could find a little fresh tarragon since I'm treating myself today. They did not have any, and that's okay. We're gonna use the dill, we're gonna use the parsley, the usual suspects. Got a little bit of spicy brown mustard, and boy, it's not even going to be half a teaspoon. I just need a little tiny bit. You know, maybe I'll just, yep, half a teaspoon. There we go. Now for our final in the sauce, I'm going to open this up. It doesn't smell at all. It's so nice and fresh. It smells fantastic. I'm excited. Some people want a steak. Some people want a lobster. I just, I just want a crab salad sandwich, a little seafood sensation. I'm not complicated. And if I can get this out, we will be in like Flynn. Come on, baby. You can do it. Ooh. Okay, there we go. Got it open. Now this is a pretty good size. What is this? Four ounces. This is four ounces. And our dressing will only need a little bit of it. So I'm not going to open it very far because I'm going to put a little foil on this or maybe we can put this in a little other container with a lid and I am going to do something else with it this week while we have it. But I am going to put in one, this is a half, my half teaspoon measure. I'm going to put in a whole teaspoon there to start. All right, let's give this a little, a little zhuzh, a little whisk up here, a little stirry stirry. If I am cutting my vegetables and putting them in here and making my sauce first before I chop up my crab because I do not want, um, I don't want to break up my crab all the pieces. I want it to still be identifiable. Okay, good stir, good stir. That's what it looks like. Give it a little taste and see if it needs anything before we move on, before we put our crab in. Oh my goodness. That's good. That doesn't need a thing. Not one thing. You know, it's nice when you can get something right once in a while. You ever have that day? Should've just stayed in bed. Okay. So I'm going to throw out our little crab here, and I am going to give this a chippity chop. And so this is probably, since it was a 12 ounce package, this is probably eight ounces for $5. Not the best price in the world, but you know, not the worst either. And well, the dressing didn't really cost much, and let's go ahead and I just chopped it up just like this, just in like little bite-sized manageable pieces, and it will kind of break up a little bit as I'm stirring. I'm okay with that. I just don't want it too broken up. Got a few runners here. Come on. Come on, cooperate. And now I'm just going to try to fold this as gently as possible, incorporating all of that mayonnaise and delicious gooeyness. And I do like mine. I have to admit, I like mine a little bit on the overdress side. This is one of those, one of the things that I can really, it needs a lot of dressing. Plus, I'm going to put it, I'm going to serve it as a sandwich. Gonna put it on a bun with shredded lettuce, a little chopped tomato. That's how I'm gonna enjoy my seafood sensation. So, you know, it will also dress my lettuce. I don't want to add my lettuce to this um, because I don't really want I want my lettuce to be nice and crisp. So there we go. This is what my Cajun seafood sensation looks like. I think it looks terrific. Yay, hooray! Let me show you my buns. That did not sound right. Oh my gosh. You know, that I get on here and it's just like being with friends and that's something that I would just say. 
let me show you the buns I got on sale. So I got these for $1.99 over at the Albertsons the other day off of the day old bakery rack, knowing in preparation that I was going to want Seafood Sensation sandwiches for my birthday. So I got these, $1.99, it's a bargain. But they are um, the authentic French brioche hot dog buns. I love brioche and these buns are split in the top um across here so it is perfect i think these buns are so good for a lobster roll or seafood sensation or you know even just a regular hot dog yeah absolutely dollar nine nine can't get that okay so what i will do is i will go ahead and take my bun out and maybe i'll steam it just a little bit so that it is fresh and delicious and delightful I'll go ahead and put this in to the bottom and then pile it with shredded lettuce and tomato and that will be just delicious so yeah quick easy recipe seafood sensation yay hooray hey listen thanks for celebrating my birthday with you i've had a great day i slept in late took the day off of work slept in late a friend that I share my birthday with, my friend Kim, she came over and we just shot the breeze. We had a little cheese, we had a little cracker, a little Mountain Dew. Um, I took a nap, I walked to Albertsons and I am gonna have seafood sensation for dinner. Yay, hooray, can't get better than that. Oh, yeah, yeah you can. You can get better than that. Just My favorite cake is a German chocolate. And you know, my baking sometimes leaves something to be desired. So I bought these brownies. I bought, I bought these brownies over at the Albertsons because they had one German chocolate cake that was $25. And yeah, even for my birthday, I'm not buying a $25 cake. So I bought these brownies. They were not on sale. I paid full price. They are $7. But then I also, for $1.49, got some of this so i'm going to put this on top of that and i'm going to eat german chocolate brownies for dessert for my birthday yay hooray anyhow it doesn't take a lot to please me and i just had a delightful day and it's been filled with well wishes and uh texts and emails and smiley faces and balloons and all of those good things all of those good things so I hope you're having a good day. If it's your birthday too, happy birthday. If your birthday's coming up or it's past, happy belated birthday or happy future birthday. Anyhow, this is Shorty Vaughn. Be good, be careful, look both ways, and I'll see you next time. I'm crazy but not dangerous.